Hey everybody, Mark Hall. God, I screwed that. <laughs> First one in his room. Let's see. It's, uh, yeah, I'm uh, Mark Walters. Okay. Yes, Walters. I'm from Dallas, Texas. <laughs> hey everybody, Mark Walters with BigFanboy.com. I'm here with Heather Caden and Bob Orsi from uh, Sleepy Hollow. We're going into season two. And uh, it seems like nowadays, just like five or ten years ago, everybody was complaining about high concept shows don't get a chance to really grow and, and like kind of spread their wings. And now it seems like we're actually seeing more shows that have inventive ideas and that are kind of, you know, breaking out of the normal boundaries, getting a chance to grow and really have, you know, a second shot. Now, you guys are coming back after a long break. What can we expect to see in season two? And, you know, what are the fans going to look forward to this time? Look, you, you, you make a point that audiences have seen it all these days, so I think they're hungrier for more challenging ideas. So many people watch TV now, they want to see two or three episodes at a time. So it, it's div now you can make things that aren't just a procedural that's beginning, middle, and end. You can actually have a big mythology and you can get a big audience to do it. So this year we're continuing on. I mean, literally, we couldn't have had more cliffhangers at the end of last year. We have everybody trapped near death. We find out that Henry Parrish is literally the son of Ichabod Crane and Katrina which whoever saw that coming. And so now in season two, the stakes have gone up. Now it's, are Katrina and Crane going to agree on, can their son be redeemed? Will Abby side with Crane and whether or not she thinks they can save his son? What is she going to find out with her sister about their mother? And how does that tie into the ultimate end of the world? We have biblical stakes, but it's also still fun. It's still like about Crane trying to figure out what he's doing in this time. It's still Abby Mills showing him the ropes of the modern day. And now maybe Katrina's going to come into the modern day as well. And so, as, is, as with life, it becomes, the stakes always go up and it also becomes more absurd. <laughs> oh, you want to add to that? No, I mean, I think it's also, everyone loves that relationship between Abby and Crane. And I, we, you know, obviously that's the heart of the show. And although I don't know if things that are going on with them are unexpected, so to speak, but I think it's more banter, more relationship, more more of the two of them growing through this experience of taking on the end of days, and I think there's a lot of wish fulfillment in that for the audience. So. Well, you guys have such a great, loyal fan base. I think that's one of the things that really, I mean, it, nowadays, that's what really helps the show grow more than anything else. What are some of the things, what's some of the great feedback you get from fans that maybe was a little unexpected? Like, are there certain things that speak to fans that maybe you didn't think, oh yeah, I guess that that would be something people could latch on to. Well, we were actually really surprised how up in arms people were over the fact that Crane wasn't changing his clothes <laughs> to the point that we weren't going to address it at all. And then we felt like, oh my God, we have to do, lean into this in some way because to us, that was sort of his superhero uniform right, and we exactly. liked that. Um, and along those lines, you think, well, we have to keep the drama and the stakes really high. And they're like, no, we really like to breathe with Abby and Crane. We like to see those moments where they're spending time and he's trying things on in front of her, you know. The idea that they really wanted to actually just spend time with Ichabod and Abby was a nice thing for us to find out that, that they wanted, because it's nice to have breathing room. Hey, you know what, he's a fish out of water. Modern day clothes don't make any sense to the guy. Come on, that, that's your explanation right there. But I love the idea of the superhero costume. I think that's that's really how people should look at it. But that is how we look, and I mean, no matter what... I in bell bottoms. Yeah, well, to I think you look in bell bottoms. You can bring them back, yeah. yeah. A little suit, a little yeah, polyester suit. I like those, yeah. But I think it was important for us to at least keep the coat. Like, you'll see new pants and maybe a new shirt, but he'll probably always have a variation of that coat. Tell him about the top hat. Okay, oh, right. And the cane. <laughs> it's going to be all over the internet. <laughs> the monocle is great. <laughs> yeah. Guys, it. thank you so much and congratulations on the second thank season. It's been going you. great. Thank, thank you. you. Very thank nice you. to talk to you. Thanks, yeah. you too.